and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next Meme Tier Monday deck. It's going to be Renekton Talia. Now, this isn't necessarily like the most competitive Renekton Talia list, which of course, that's why it's here on Meme Tier Monday. But the viewer that submitted it wanted to kind of uh, test it out and just kind of um, see how it looks as more of like a test study of what Mono Shurima has to offer. And, you know, like, what does it lack, um, you know, going into the latest expansion that's going to have more Shurima cards? Um, and, you know, like the different trade offs in deck building with Mono Shurima. Um, because, you know, like, just playing only the one region probably isn't going to be the, the most powerful for a deck like this. But that's so that's kind of what we're going to uh, have here is we're just kind of testing out like what kind of tools Mono Shurima has. Like we are a Sun Disk deck. But we're not really a Sun Disk deck, right? Like we're, we're playing Talia and um, Renekton. So we do have one Ascended Champion, but we're not really trying to, um, you know, do stuff with the Sun Disk. Sometimes it'll happen, you know, every every once in a while we'll be able to ha level up Renekton and then also use Esteemed Arrow Fans and um, then also use like Hourglass on the Arrow Fan and, you know, get a bunch of advance with those two um, and be able to level up the Sun Disk. It'll happen every once in a while, but maybe it won't happen any times in like these five games. But that's something we can do. We can also use the Hourglass on Xenotype Researchers, getting some plus three, plus threes. That's going to be a very uh, boomer bus type thing. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have, of course, Merciless Hunter. And um, for, you know, because that's just a great card. We have Unraveled Earth, which I think is going to kind of tie our deck together. It's two landmarks for Talia. And then it'll also be the vulnerable stuff for Renekton. So I think this, and it also draws a card, right? It does a whole lot for us, which I think that'll be really good. Um, this region doesn't have very much Nexus healing, Shurima. There's actually only two cards with Nexus healing, and we have both of them in our deck. We have Ruinous Path that uh, we'll be able to draw a card and also drain for two, healing our Nexus for two. And then a couple copies of Devoted Council that if we can level up one of our champions, we'll heal our champions and our Nexus for two every single round. I, I like this Devoted Council card. I think this card's pretty decent. So we're going to be playing one of those, or two of these as well. Talia is probably going to be our easiest champion to level up. We just need five landmarks, and we start with the Sun Disk in our hand. And so playing that means we only need four other landmarks. So like Unraveled Earth gets us halfway there. Um, and then, you know, we'll have like Rock Hopper, Preservarium, Ancient Hourglass, those other cards also to get a few landmarks in. If we're not going to be doing the Sun Disk stuff at all, or if we have like an extra Roiling Sands from Rock Hopper or Unraveled Earth, we have a couple copies of Desert Naturalist that can get a Grumpy Rock Bear give us a 2-4 and a 5-4 in play. Um, also give us interaction for opposing landmarks. Siphoning Strike making these things big could be pretty nice, but you know, so like that's, we just kind of have a bunch of cards, right? But uh, that's that's what we're doing. We're, we're uh, it's kind of like a test study for what does Mono Shurima have to offer. All right, let's go and give it a try with Renekton Talia. We'll go play our five games in normal. And we're gonna be using Pool Party Talia for the first time. I, I think Pool Party Talia is the only Pool Party champion with a new animation. So we'll be checking that out. So we're just going to be heading on over to the pool. Okay, looks like we got a Xenotype Researchers type of hand. Shivana, really in soul. I'll just keep this. This board does have... Where's my webcam? Right there. So that's Talia and Sebastian. They're hanging out. We got, got Coconut speakers, some shells. I'm pretty sure this is Sebastian, right? I think it is. I think that's his name. Alright, so opponent has a really good deck. Zoe, Shivana, really and Soul. Probably going to be a lot better than our meme tier deck that we're just chilling with over here in normal. Not expecting to win this game. But of course, meme tier Monday is not about wins. As you can see, we have not really been winning today. It's about um, experiencing new interact card interactions and enjoying the game. They probably, like, they could play, like, the 5-4 lifesteal, but that's fine. Fire and fury burn me. This 
This is your end. I'm hoping I can kill that maybe with like a siphoning strike or something. What's the fire breath this time? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. If it's medicine, I can write. Quick sands should help also from like fight spells and stuff. <laughs> Over in Twitch chat, we have 47 MBG saying there are a lot of ways to fix the watcher. The only question is which is the most elegant? And JJ goes, delete it is very elegant to me. <laughs> Yeah, they did not challenge anything, which was surprising. Guess I should have blocked with my three three. Your kind will answer. Talia! Three out of five. Little landmarks. I guess I could just kill this thing. I guess. Watch me. I guess we trade there. No, I don't think we can trade there. So I'm not exactly sure how. I am uh, playing the siphoning strike, but I guess I'll just siphoning strike that thing. Yeah, that'll work. That, yeah, that works. Nine nine Renekton. That's what's up. And then seven six Merciless Hunter. Dude, Xenotype Researchers is sweet. We have been hitting a bunch on Xenotype Researchers. Xenotype Researchers is a real. <laughs> It's a real um, boomer bust type card, right? Like it, it either does nothing because you don't see any of those allies, or it can do some crazy stuff like we've been seeing here with like these. You know, we've hitting two rock hoppers, a Renekton, and a Merciless Hunter. All right, down to five. It's gonna be a vulnerable Aurelian Soul. Yeah, if they would have hushed, we would have hourglassed away, and it would have been okay. The problem with this Roiling Sands now... So I, want to, I want to Talia copy this statue. Man, this hit Xenotype also? How do we have everything hit Xenotype? They're not going to attack, right? No, they don't attack. The problem is, like, judgment, right? Are they going to have judgment? Sure hope not. If they have judgment, I lose. If they don't, I win. The sun, this light leads us into the future. 
Just how much do I play around Judgment or not? Or do I just not play around it at all? Play around it a little bit? Oh, yeah, if I would have gone Talia and then had Talia skill, then... No, because if Talia's dead, the skill doesn't happen. So no, Judgment would not lose to Talia's skill. So if they have just two two star shapings, they would die. Seriously? It's not cool. The only card in the whole game. Even emote and everything. Pool party! Dude, see, see, that's a sweet Talia level up. The other Talia level up is also really cool, though. So I can't, can't be mad at Talia level ups. They're both cool. Yeah, because how it says, like, deal two to my blocker if it's dead or gone, but, like, if it's... If there is no blo like it's I guess the my part of it like if there's no Talia then it does no damage. And I'm not not necessarily saying that that's wrong, but that's just how it is. This is this game is why I don't like Aurelian Soul. <laughs> yes, uh, I do not like Aurelian Soul. Our city shines once more. Would you look at this place? Katiana, you've got to see this new board. A little busy now, Sammy. Still 10 cards in hand. Yeah, Targon's the best region. Because they have a really soul. Yeah, why not? I mean, we like force them to block with these things, but it doesn't matter more. Alright, GG's. At Judgment. All right, another Targon deck. They're gonna be stunning a lot of stuff. I could see Unraveled Earth being a keep. Mulliganed it pretty quickly, but I could see it being a keep. It's such a cool Xenotype Researchers game. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Alright, Hourglass is good protection if we need it. Think you're fast? Cute. Last 
guess I could just play a Renekton. Yeah, I guess I could do... Yeah, I guess we could blow it up. Blow up this thing and make a 5-4. That's not bad. It doesn't get the vulnerable for Renekton, but... Maybe that's not bad. Yeah, that puts a lot of pressure on them. Alright, I'm in there. I don't know, maybe this isn't the play. Because, like, the 2-4 doesn't really matter, does it? The dawn has arrived. Carry her lights across the mountain. Yeah, maybe this isn't the play. Now, the I'd much rather that Leona have vulnerable. Okay, no, this wasn't it. Yeah, this didn't work out. I, I guess I should have just played Renekton. And good chance of not attacking. Yeah, I should have just played Renekton. Alright, well, that's alright. We slayed something, so we're going to ruin his path. There's a lot of good stuff in our deck. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. That's new. You're provoking it. Pick on someone your own speed. I will protect you. I mean, with them having the Leona over there, I didn't have any other good attacks the last round. Leona's not that important, that's why they would risk Leona. If I hourglass that thing away and then it comes back, will it still be mind splittered? I mean it is like exact copy, right? So I guess would it still be mind splittered? Yeah, I'd assume so. Also. Yeah, people in chat are basically not exactly sure, and I'm not exactly sure either. And we're just, you know, it's not like necessarily all about wins today. We might as well try, right? Like it's, yeah, for science. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's still marked, but it didn't get stunned round start because it was under stasis round start. But it's still marked. I see every move. for our might. Face my shield. Would've been nice to have Ruinous Path right here, but we're gonna go ahead and... They are my people, and I am theirs. 
get some more Renekton's, I guess. Really hope we can kill this Renekton with Siphoning Strike. We just used one Deny. Because, yeah, they're both marks now. Gotta hope this works. That we just that they don't have a deny anymore. All right. Now we talking. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Our faith, our future in one symbol. Ugh. Why? Why? All right. Let's see. So they have 14 Overwhelm I can block with, I mean, I guess I could block with 10 if I block the, you know, with that, but that's only 4. Okay, then I, I can go block, so I probably want to play the Rock Hopper, actually we're, we're pretty fine. Do I need, I guess I'll play Rock Hopper though, because I want, I'd rather play Ruinous Path. Okay, if I play Ruinous Path, they go to, I have two 8-8s, the two 8-8s can block this and this, and then the 10 blocks there. That block's there. We go to one. We go to three. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Sorry. We're fine. If they attack out, they lose. Yeah, that's that's the only thing they can attack with. Any of these attacks, they they're dead. Suffer a Necton. <sighs> attack immediately, or I guess it's probably attack immediately. Rock Hopper wouldn't be bad, but I don't want anything to get stunned. What am I? What am I challenging? If I do this ruthless predator. Challenging this thing. Over here. All right, cool. Savagery and carnage forever. Have anything else? Mono uh, Shadow Isles. All right, it's gonna be a pretty spooky deck. Oh, uh, let's see. You're gone. You're gone. I kind of like Renekton Siphoning Strike, but actually, you know what? Maybe we should keep you as getting a 2-4 and a 5-4 blocker. Yeah, I should, probably should. Yeah, probably gonna be some fearsome. Probs. <laughs> Engineering rule. The first step of making something that only just passes validation. Refinement comes later. What are you saying, guys? What's the meta deck doing in my meme tier Monday video? <laughs> This is, I don't know if we'd really say it's a meta deck. I think we're maybe going a little too far there. Nexus for all the damage they about deal with it. Interesting reaction. It's the scribe of sorrows on a cold and gray Chicago morning. 
we're gonna play another scribe of sorrow. Alright, let's get some xenotypes going. Ooh, you think Talia should have an ascended form? That would be pretty cool. Man, they're about to have so many wraith followers. We could actually get level 3 Renekton in this game. That would not be too far-fetched. We just need 7 more for there. I can uh, hourglass away the arrow fan and get 3 more at any point. This is pretty sweet though, this council. Heal Nexus 2, heal Renekton 2 each round. using multiple lenses. Not attacking with the 6-7? Yeah, because honestly, I, I like them having, like, what they, if I attack with the 6-7, they block with the 2-1. I like them, it's almost like, why? Like, why just let them just block with the 2-1 whenever their, their whole plan is, like, all these Wraith Callers. Might as well keep, like, their board kind of full. I can still protect Renekton a couple of different ways. Plus, now that Renekton's leveled up, not as important if Renekton dies considering I have this Ruthless Predator. But maybe I just actually just cast this Ruinous Path right now. Do not have any protection for it. This Heal Your Nexus 2 each round is pretty sweet. The Hopper. I definitely should not have kept this Desert Naturalist. That was a mistake. Would you look at this place? <laughs> I know, right? I, I definitely want to drink a smoothie with this with this music. Um, I think the season ends probably like right before the next expansion comes out. That would be my guess. So the the next expansion comes out on the 30th, so, you know, maybe the season ends, like, the 29th. As far as, like, getting a specific rank for rewards and everything. It's a reasonable guess, I suppose. Could be wrong there. Yeah, I could see Council working in Swain Zillion, because if you are able to... <clears throat> as long as you're able to um, level up Swain fairly easily, which you probably can with all the different cards, especially like Death Lotus and stuff like that, level up your Swain fairly easily, just play it, and then, yeah, you're devoted Council. Because healing, too, every single round, that's pretty nice. That's basically, That's like four health between their attacks. It's like, after they get done attacking, then goes to your round, two health, then goes back to their round, two more health. That's a lot. It's healing a decimate each, you know, between each round cycle like that. And so, yeah, so Tali's the person who made this deck said that they used to play Spirit Fire, but then just realized that Devoted Council is just doing more against these aggro decks than Spirit Fire.
In one round, we will have level three Renekton. Man, this Renekton is going to be so big. Man, this Renekton is going to be so big. I mean, I can't. I can block this thing. I guess my Renekton gets healed anyway. Let's go to 12. Let's go! Sun Disc restored! More power. More bloodshed. Dang, that thing's big. <laughs> oh, that thing's so big. So, do you got vengeance? Dominus Destruction. Just taking out Nasus. The thing is, like, in this game, Nasus is so much bigger than Renekton. It's maybe not level 3 Renekton. Dominus is Rex Ultimate in League. That Nexus healing did did some good work, right? Like we healed for like eight or ten Nexus wise with that with that thing. All right, that game was sweet. Ooh, Kindred Ash. We played some Kindred Ash yesterday. All right, not keeping Naturalist again. I don't think I keep that either. Yeah, we we got the Sun Disk. That's not gonna happen too often in our deck, but it can happen. And when it does, it is sweet. We need a haircut, Harvey. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Winter, take you. Leaping into action. Hey Rose, yeah, yesterday, yeah, Twisted Twisted Swain did really, really well yesterday. I think even though I had two decks that had better records, it kind of felt like the best of our decks. Very happy with it. From yesterday. Thirty seconds tomorrow song from yesterday. Caped Baldy Sensei. That's definitely Sensei. <laughs> I think. Caped, thank you so much for that resub. Three months. Now that is our second sub of the day. You are amazing, Caped. Thank you so much. Watch me. I really appreciate that. Feels like Ravenous Butcher is just like super scared of aliens. We have visitors. It's like, no, we don't, Ravenous Butcher. Or do we? And we got a new Twitch Prime sub with Lim. Thank you, Lim. Getting some more hype boats in the chat. 
Thank you so much. Thanks for that support. All right, so Sand Spinner. I forgot we had Sand Spinner in our deck. And Bee Tree Rise with the resub as well. Y'all are coming in hot. I would like to, like... Oh, I don't have... Never mind. I don't... Never mind. I don't have the... Uh, I was thinking that I had, like, the spell that... Um, hourglass. That was going to Hourglass something and Talia it, but I don't have that spell. Kalamanda, our home. Kawabunga. I think that's what he said. Step away. I'm not sure why they had their 3 1 attack into my council. Don't know if they got the best council about that. <laughs> yeah, definitely with this board. I, I'm pretty sure they said Cowabunga <laughs> with this surf sport, with this surf up board. Pretty sure that's what it was. My devoted council is gonna die. It's hard, it's fast now. You know, second place is far too. No but we will draw a lot of cards. No Together, we are stronger than stone, faster than the wind. Because we still draw two with the Preservarium. We're gonna draw so next round we're gonna draw three at the beginning of the round. Yeah, right? Yeah, Talia has a, a really cool animation, the pool party Talia. That looks sweet. Where are all of my ancient hourglasses? They've been so good. There we go. There's one. Found one. Do this. Gonna catch the sky. Find your step. I guess I used the the last that I did ladder was before the seasonal tournament, and I used the Zoe Victor Aurelian Soul deck that I played in the seasonal tournament. That's what I used to get from like the beginning part of Master Drink to into the top seven hundred. Um, yesterday, though, also, we, we did a lot of good ranking up yesterday with some viewer-submitted donation decks. Had a lot of good records with our decks from yesterday. As I live, all will die. One does not affirm the other. I like him. The first couple of videos from yesterday are up on YouTube. That worked out fairly well. Kindred's back to zero out of two now. Like whenever you, you play that it goes it does reset. I should probably play another rock hopper to try to help things getting marked, but no, I should probably just ruin his path actually. Down to two. Uno more. Uno mas mana. Uno mas. Would have had it. I guess I should be having my 4-4 block something to try to ruin his path, kill them. 
would probably make sense. Oh no, is it about Talia? Mark and Talia is so rude. Now they, they want to save their kindred, but then they also have to yeah, do something about this for next end. So they still have to do something about this. That's still lethal right now. Okay, so they go to three and their kindred dies. I suppose that is all acceptable. Um, I guess this whole thing's not acceptable though. Killing Renekton. So we can put him down to one with this Ruinous Path and draw into another Ruinous Path. We draw into the third. Dang. So close. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Yo, siphoning strike, cool. Oh, this could be bad. They got a whole bunch of frostbite stuff. Could be bad. I mean, do I just try this? But if they just like, if I try siphoning strike and they just have frostbite and frostbite renekton and then and then attack, then I lose. So that's kind of the problem there. We could just lose. Now we just have to wait. Well, look who decided to join us. Mm-hmm. You are welcome. Mm-hmm. Looks like you're stuck. Gonna get a couple more blockers. No, don't be frostbite. Just play a kindred. Five mana kindred. Do it. Play a kindred. They're not doing anything. No. Stand together. And that's why I didn't just siphoning strike. We would have died. Down to three. Alright, so we know that they have the, the Crystal Arrow in hand, right? Like, that's that's a card that we know about. Like, that's why we, we have to, it's like, attack immediately because of Crystal Arrow. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's just a Withering Whale. I guess that doesn't quite keep them alive because the Overwhelm for Renekton. Woo! So close! Yep, had it the whole time. Alright. Three and one. A very nice gift for Renekton. Before that open attack. Shavana Lerbonk. It's fun to say. Shavana Lerbonk. I'll keep this. I ain't scared. Let's 
Looks like we got a little bit of vulnerable. Dragon Reputation. They do not want anything to be vulnerable. You're provoking it. <sighs> Would you look at this place? I behavior. <laughs> yeah, second history says drawing sun disc turn one. That's kind of lucky. Yeah, we've been pretty pretty lucky with that. Guess this is the best I got. Shivana won't survive with just. Uh... Okay, cool. Wouldn't survive with sharp sight. Blocking just makes it more difficult for them to, you know, use fight spells and stuff like that. If I don't block. Then they get to fight spell, which I guess that's kind of like the same thing as fighting, but or blocking, but we took out a fight spell. So actually, maybe that is better. one my plan I was, I was making like the second because you know, like we need more landmarks for talia but we also need like a landmark for that two four so i was making a second one of those so that i could blow up that other one and you know turn it into a rock bear that was my plan of having like the second um sun disc was it was just going to turn into a five four so yeah we had some really good games there um definitely liked the devoted so cards i was very impressed with the devoted council I was very impressed. Xenotype researchers did a ton of work. Man, that was a that was kind of a weird game that we lost that first one. Also, that was really close to a 5-0. Both of those did a lot of work. Um, and siphoning strike, siphoning strike is just awesome with Renekton and Talia, especially Renekton. Um, Ruinous Path looked really good. You know, we were killing our opponents with Ruinous Path. That card looked really, really good. That's for sure. Hourglass, Hourglass definitely overperformed, especially with Talia. Right, like this was our our um, goal was to hourglass stuff and then Talia. We did that a couple of times with Renekton, and that was quite good. But then it also worked well with like researchers and Aerophant um, and things like that. I, wrote, I don't know how you pronounce that. Esteemed. Um, so those are all all good, all good. Quicksand did its job. Unraveled Earth did its job. You know, especially cycling through the deck with Unraveled Earth was nice. Um, Sand Spinner didn't really, like, it was alright, I guess, but, you know, like, that's why we only got, like, the one of them. It wasn't really that important, especially with ha having all the other vulnerable with Hunter and Unraveled Earth and Rock Hopper and all the other vulnerable. Um, didn't really seem to miss the vulnerable spells, right? Usually with Renekton, I'm playing, like, a lot of, like, the one-mana spells, like Exhaust and stuff like that. 
I didn't really seem to miss it, right? We just kind of had like pretty good cards throughout and we just didn't have like our hand full filled with like exhaust when they didn't work. So everything went, went really well. So yeah, the deck deck worked um, pretty good. All right, so that's going to be it here for Renekton Talia. I could see, as far as another card, I could see just playing a third quicksand. Like quicksand is, is nice. I could see playing a third quicksand instead of the sand spinner. I could see playing a third preservarium getting more card draw instead and and you know just make sure our Talia is leveled up. I would probably just go with another quicksand right now, but like those are some other those are some options. Like I liked all these two ofs. Like Devoted Council I think is a good two of. I, I think it did a lot of work and everything, but I don't think it necessarily needs to be a three of. Um but yeah those are those are some options instead of the sound dispenta if you're looking for other options. Um also Golden Ambassador. Golden Ambassador is great. I could definitely see turning Sand Spinner into just a Golden Ambassador get a 6-6 six, six for Necton or a Tal you know, like Golden Ambassador is a great card. So this is, I, I could definitely see doing that. Anyway, that's going to be it here for Renekton Talia. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, let me know what you think of just like this test for Sharima and just like what Sharima has to offer. This is definitely a different mono Sharima deck than we've played in like our other ones with like Nasus and Azir and stuff like that. But it, it worked really well. Like the units were good. And you know, we didn't just get bogged down by having too many spells, which that's what I've I've definitely done sometimes with these uh Sharima decks, is just had too many, like I was talking about of like the exhausts and shape stones and stuff like that, and just you just end up with too many spells. And that wasn't the case here. I liked it. Alright, but anyway, that's gonna be it here for Renekton Talia. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.